Well, welcome again to another one of my podcasts. And today, I think I'm going to talk to you about courage. Uh, Having courage. Wearing your courage on your sleeve, or however they say that. Uh, There's a scripture about Elijah, which always impressed me. Elijah's the one that likes to call fire down from heaven. And I guess God must have told him to do that, or he wouldn't have done it. Well, I'm going to read out of Second Kings 1 and uh, verses 9 through 15 uh, out of the English Standard Version. Then the king sent to him captains of 50 men with his 50. He went up to Elijah, who was sitting at the top of the hill, and said to him, O man of God, the king says, come down. But Elijah answered the captain of fifty, If I am a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. Then fire came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And again uh, the king sent to him another captain of fifty men and his fifty. And he answered and said to him, O man of God, the king has ordered you to come down quickly. Then Elijah answered them, If I am a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume you and your fifty. Then the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And again the king sent the captain of the third fifty, with his fifty. And the third captain of the fifty went up and came and fell before his knees before Elijah and entreated him, O man of God, please let my life and the life of these fifty servants of yours be precious in your sight. Behold, fire came down from heaven and consumed the two former captains of fifty men with their fifty. But now, Let my life be precious in your sight. Well, at that time, then the angel of the Lord said to Elijah, Go down with him. Do not be afraid of him. So he arose and went down to the king. Kind of an unusual story, isn't it? (laughs) Well, he said, If I am a man of God, may fire come down from heaven. And we saw that God answered him, and fire came down. Now, there was a fellow by the name of Andrew who lived in a country that was close to the gospel. And uh, it was, uh, he was ever facing danger. When I asked how he kept his faith a secret, he said, he, did, he doesn't, he didn't do it. He wears a button that advertises that he's a Christian, and wherever he's arrested, he tells the police they need Jesus too. Andrew had courage, because he knew who was on his side. And it sounds like Elijah. Elijah had courage, and so did this Andrew. Elijah refused to be intimidated, even though the king of Israel sent Fifty soldiers to arrest him. Well, the prophet knew God was with him, and he called down fire that consumed their platoon. Well, the king sent another soldier. Elijah did the same thing again, and the king uh, sent more. But the third platoon of soldiers had heard about the others, and the captain begged Elijah to spare the soldier's life. Well, there was, they were more afraid of him than he ever was of them. So the angel of the Lord told Elijah it was safe to go down with them, so he did. Now Jesus doesn't want us to call fire down on our enemies. When the disciples asked if they could call fire down on the Samaritan village, Jesus rebuked them. You know, and that, by the way, that's found in Luke. Chapter 9, you can read it for yourself. Now, we're living in a different time. 
But Jesus does want us to have Elijah's boldness, to be ready to tell everyone about the Savior who died for them. It may not seem, you know, like one person uh, taking on 50, but it's actually one on 50. Jesus provides what we need to be courageous uh, and to love and reach out to others. No, we don't call down fire from heaven today. But we have to have that boldness and assurance. You know, the Bible tells us, don't be afraid of him who can kill the body, but be afraid of him who can uh, destroy the body and the soul for all eternity. You know, our fear of God should be so much greater than our fear for man. And we need to have that boldness to share our faith and our and the gospel with the lost world. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. Uh, just remember that God will give you the courage you need. And uh, if God be for us, who can be against us? Great words and great thought for today. With that, have a great day. Until next time, Lord bless. Bye now.